Um, some farmers are really worried about all this dry weather, the conditions they're having, and the impact it's going to have on their crops. Yeah, but others, like winemakers, they're actually pleased with the conditions. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joining us from a winery in Watertown to explain. Amanda, mixed reviews here. Yes, that's correct, Mike Keisha. Here at Hawk Ridge Winery in Watertown, they say the dry conditions are actually good for their grapes, but as you can see, they've already picked them for the season. There's none on the vines here. Their concern now is if these dry conditions continue, how their future grapes could fare. In my 12 years of winemaking, I have never witnessed a season quite as dry as this one. Walking around Hawk Ridge Winery in Watertown, Signs of the drought are everywhere. We certainly don't have to mow the lawn as much. <laughs> Everything is very brown and crispy. So are the grapevines, but head winemaker Maureen McDonald says that's actually a good thing. Luckily, we grow one of the few crops that doesn't need a lot of water. So grapevines actually do better the more they struggle for water. But looking into 2025, we do have a few concerns. It's next year's grapes they're worried about. Moving forward into the spring season, if we don't get a generous portion of rain in the spring, it could influence the uptake of nutrients into our vines. If our vines are really, really struggling in order to draw up their nutrients, some of those nutrients are critical in order to form the flowers and to self-pollinate and generate the grapes later on in the season. No rain is okay for now, but McDonald is hoping it doesn't last so the grapes for their popular wines yeah. can grow healthy. As long as we get some good rain in 2025, we're hoping that the New Year's brings in some warmer and damp weather so that we can actually get a decent um, bed of moisture and increase our water table to sustain us throughout 2025. Now, come January, the 80% of this vineyard will actually be removed. These vines and all of this brush you see down here, they typically burn all of this in a big pile, obviously controlled, and they do it safely. But with all these burn bans, they won't be able to do that. This year, they will be composting all of it. Mike Keisha, I'll send it back to you.